we got a lot to talk about, all right? So what I want you to do is go ahead, get your popcorn, get your soda, get your juice, whatever you got to do, all right? Because we about to get hype. About to act like Chopper up in this bitch, like... Let's waste no time. Let's do this. Okay, first of all, the Davy Bat fight. Just to cover this real quick. I thought it was very funny. I thought it was enjoyable. Zoro and Sandy sound like they were at each, each other's throats like a lot this art. <laughs> and it was hilarious. They were joking each other. Funny as shit. Like, I thought it was hilarious. Then when Goofy put on the afro, the afro power, afro thunder and all that shit. That shit was funny as hell. But it was, it was enjoyable. But anyways, we're going to push that shit to the side. We're going to push that shit to the side. We're not here for that right now, okay? Because when they first met that dude, what's his name? Alkoichi or Akuichi, whatever, Alkoichi, whatever his name is. Dude's a monster. How are you just going to be standing there, laying there on the grass during a beautiful day and you got Luffy and Zoro sitting in front of you and you don't feel no threat whatsoever? I was like, this dude's a monster. Like, I didn't even need to see what he, need, what he was going to do. He was a monster already. He was just a beast. So... They, they got through with him, the dude, like, he, he put in work on Robin, he froze her to death and shit, they, they saved her and everything, Luffy gave them a chance to pretty much escape and everything, you know what I'm saying, by fighting them, but Luffy met his demise by being frozen as well, but they got through that and everything, then they went to Water 7. First of all, I liked Water 7, okay, when, I'm, I'm just talking about how it, how it looked at first, you know what I'm saying, I was like, damn, this shit is like Italy, but Italy gets shitted on, it's got like different tiers and stuff, I was like, okay, I was like, it's nasty, and how like they go up to the next levels by like going into the gates and flooding it up, so they go up and there's like different passageways and stuff, I thought it was dope, the concept of the city was dope, it was hot. So, when they first get there, like, okay, we gotta exchange these berries and everything, so, um, Nami, Luffy, and Usopp go out, um, and Robin and, Ch and Chopper go out. When Robin and Chopper go out, they, they run into something, yo, they run into something. Look, they about to go into the bookstore, and then Robin's like, okay, yeah, let's go in, and she's about to walk, walk towards the bookstore to go in, and this big-ass dude with this cape and this mask, he's like, CP9, I was like, You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, I was taken back by that shit. You like CP9. And I know if I was fucking taken back, I know Robin was fucking affected by that shit. Full force. Cause it was right next to her. Look at her face. She was just like. That shit was ridiculous. And she just vanished after that shit. That's some power right there. You know what I'm saying? She just vanished. So I was like, damn. Then meanwhile, they're going to get and exchange their berries and everything. They get like 300 million. Like, ah. And they're like, okay, let's go to the ship, right? Let's get our stuff fixed. So boom, they get an estimate on the junk and they find out that it can't be fixed. They find it can't be fixed. Meanwhile, Usopp's holding on to two of the suitcases full of money, 200 million berries, and this man gets jumped. This man gets jumped by Frankie's boys, yo. He gets, he gets his ass whooped. I was like, damn. And they find out that Usopp got jumped. Nami finds him, and Usopp is just like destroyed. Then, like, man, go watch that shit again because Usopp puts down some poetic justice. Get right. Get out. I'm telling you, this man is like, I. I can't do it. I cannot show my face in front of the, the guys again right now. It was my responsibility to take care of the berries, to fix the Mary. I was like, I felt that shit right here. I was like, I feel you, Usopp. I feel you, son. I was like, that's right. So Nami's like, look, wait here, I'm gonna go get the boys, and then we gonna go to Frankie's, and we gonna put in work, we gonna get our money back. It was like, okay. So, she goes, tells them. Then they cut the Frankie and all them and everything, doing their thing and stuff. And then, the door just goes, just, just, the door just gets destroyed at Frankie's trail. So at first, I'm like, okay, this is Sanji and them about to come in and put in work. When the dust clears and it's Usopp, I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh shit, that's some crazy shit. I was like, so you telling me, Usopp, your pride was that much, damn Usopp, 
Usopp, you get you get mad cool points for that shit. Crazy cool points. I respect the fuck out of you, son. You a beast to an extent. But this dude, he go in there, he's like, look, give me, give us our money back. That's for the berries. That's that's for the Mary. Give us our berries back. That's for the Mary right there. So he goes in there knowing that he most likely ain't gonna be doing too much. He gets fucking destroyed. I mean, annihilated. How the fuck do you literally lie in your blood, sweat, and tears? You hear people say, man, I, I, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into that shit. Usopp got his ass destroyed to the point that he was literally lying in his blood, sweat, and tears. That shit was ridiculous. He was just out of it. It was just like this and shit. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. Then motherfucking Luffy and them come up and they see him. They're like, holy shit. And they show him and he's just utterly just fucking demolished, annihilated. And then that's when shit gets serious. I'm like, okay, okay. Zoro puts on the bandana. Chopper eats the rumble. Sanji sparks the stogie. And Luffy, you know what he's going to do. He's going to make you get hyped. Yeah. Fucking beast mode. Just walking up in there just like, dude. Hey, where you at, motherfucker? And they completely just demolish everything and everyone in this bitch. Like, just destroyed. Take Usopp back to the Mary. And then they break the news. Like, look, the Mary can't be fixed. At first he thinks that these Luffy's joking. And then he's like, then they find out that he's and he finds out they're not joking. And he's like, hold on a second. We can't give up to Mary. And I understand where Usopp's coming from because he has a more kind of defined relationship with the Mary because it came from the chick and everything. Now for that past arc in East Blue and all that stuff. So I understand. I mean, but at the same time, everybody cares about the Mary. But what he doesn't realize is that. Yes, it, they, everybody sees it as one of the shipmates, but at the same time, it is not a living thing. You know what I'm saying? It can only go so far, and now it needs to be put to rest. But Usai just doesn't want to hear it. So he's like, you know what? And then he just comes into a revelation. He's just like, if you're going to get rid of her, you're going to get rid of me. I've been thinking about this shit for a while now. I'm weak. I'm the weakest one here. Y'all don't want nobody weak on your squad, do you? And then I'm like, damn, Usai is going ham right now. Then he's just like, look, I'm done. I'm off the squad. I'm off the team. I'm not. I'm not done with. I'm done with y'all. Then as he's leaving, he's like, Luffy, I challenge your ass. I'm gonna challenge you, son. Tonight at ten, I'll be here going challenge. They get into a fight. Boom. Luffy's like, look, I don't want neither one of y'all getting off the boat. You know what I'm saying? Psh, telling you when Luffy taught that's business right there. Don't get off the boat. And then they fight. Luffy puts in work on him. He knew that that was inevitably, inevitably gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? They they leave the Mary with Usopp and everything. Everybody goes into town and stays at the end. Meanwhile, what's happening to the city? The boy Iceberg is getting interrogated by the goddamn government and shit and everything. And then they put an assassination plan on him and they put it and they lay it on the straw hats. I was like, what? All because Robin? I was like, Robin? What, Robin? What? What? You ready for this, Robin? You know what I'm saying? Damn! Because at that time, I was hyped. Get hyped. Yeah. I was hyped, son. I was like, damn, how, how Robin gonna do this? And they find out that Robin was actually in there. She was the one that did it. And then she's like, look, I'm not coming back to the crew. I got something inside me. I'm telling y'all, like, I can't be with y'all. If I am, it just means your demise. They don't know why. So eventually, they find out why eventually but before we get to when they find out why i want to get to something real quick because these cp9 motherfuckers real shit so at this point everybody in the city is looking for the straw hats because they were put down basically for the fall for trying to kill iceberg and everything for that assassination of iceberg iceberg still alive and everything so they're like okay in order for us to find the truth we gotta grab robbie so they stake out the galley live right where all the shipwrights are holding it down because they think they're gonna come back and try to deal a lethal blow to iceberg right <clears throat> <clears throat> and CP9 got Robin with him, and then they just straight beast mode. Like, they just got some shit I've never seen before and shit. And then they get up in there, they get Iceberg and everything. But the dude with the big ass fucking, fucking bear shit on his, on his face, the fucking mask and everything, he was a monster. This dude just went like this. He went like this. The hammer came and just got destroyed. I was like, what the fuck? 
I was like, that shit is OP. I was like, this dude's a monster. And then he's like, soda. And then he just jets down the goddamn hallway and, and just whoops the other dude's ass. I'm like, wow, this, like you can't fuck with this dude. This dude's a this dude's a beast. And then basically the straw hats get up in there and everything. They they actually get their ass whooped and everything. And then the storms come in. I've never seen a big ass tidal wave like that. They made it out of that, man. It, it was crazy. That that shit was dope. You know what I'm saying? Luffy got angry. He was then when they found out about the truth about Robin, how how she sacrificed herself for him and shit. I was like, what, Robin? I was like, that right. I was like, that right. Yeah. Like that's right. That man Luffy was like, he's trying to bust over the goddamn shit. Like, dude, the goddamn fucking building just split, broke apart, and then they, that's when they try to make moves to the train. They got on their own train, went and jetting past them, blew through the goddamn fucking big ass tidal wave, the Laguna, whatever the hell that shit is. Him and Zoro, ultimate combo right there. Like, that is some power for your ass right there, son. It's not a bullet, it's not a cannon, it's a sword and a punch. That is ultimate power right there, son. And then meanwhile, my boy Sanji, on the goddamn main, he, he he on the main shit with Robin and CP9, the Chris Paul nines, yo. And when I first heard CP9, I was like, Chris Paul? But those of y'all don't know basketball, might not get that reference, but I was like, Chris Paul nines? Like, what? CP3? I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But he's on there, and, he, and then he gets the update on what Robin did, and then it's over. And Zoro's like, don't do nothing without us. Wait till we get there. And then Luffy's, Luffy knows what the deal is. He's like, go ahead and do what you got to do, bro. Imagine if you were in if you, you were in my shoes or in his shoes, Zoro. What would you do? Zoro ain't say shit about it after that. Man, Sanji proceeds to put in work my boy Sanji. He spotted that cigarette. Ah, just nothing but power, yo. I was like, that's right, Sanji. That's right. Yeah. Like, that's what you do, son. And then you had your boy Frankie with him. Then you had Usopp being like, man, I can't help her. Then he come back to the Soge King. Honestly, man, I seen that shit. I wanted to slap the fuck out of him. I literally wanted to slap the shit out of Usopp at that point. But I was like, okay, you know what? He helping. He goes, he goes to talk to Robin and everything. Then they start fighting, yo. And that, them fights, yo. Between, just, just all them fights, man. With, with fucking what Nero and goddamn Frankie and then oh I gotta say something about that real quick when Frankie finally gets this motherfucker in his grasp and then he's like he, he he's he's on top of him on top of the train and he's like look if you think the fight is going beyond this hit you are thinking something else right now. Then he just goes back up and he proceeds to bring down that ultimate fucking hammer right on his fucking face. I was like, what? Get hype. Yeah. Oh my god, yo. I mean, this shit hit his fucking face, okay? Which ricochet with the, the impact ricocheted through his bloodstream, his tissues, his bones, through his skull, went to the fucking steel iron plate, whatever the fuck the train is made out of. Cracked it, went through the train, into the bitch. I was like, you know what, you're done. You ain't getting up after that shit. And somehow he gets back up, but then he gets dealt with by your boy, Lu Lucy or Lucy, whatever the fuck it is, and everything. And then they ended up getting some more turmoil and stuff. Sanji did his best. Everybody did their best, man. That shit was dope. That shit went in. And then, oh, I gotta say one last thing about Zoro, yo. Because that T-Bone steak, motherfucker, he was out in the middle of the goddamn ocean and shit on the tracks. And then Zoro was just like, duh, I got this. And Luffy, Luffy was like, what are y'all doing? Leave it up to Zoro. And then that man Zoro is just up there, yo. How you jump off of a rocket train in front of it? that fast deal with somebody in one blow and then jump back on the train the dude's a monster get hype yeah. the dude's a monster i was like you know what this dude's a beast and then he gets back on it like it's nothing Anyways, I'm at Annie's lobby right now. They just got there. Frankie's looking at it like is this a big ass waterfall and shit I'll see y'all cats next week. I'll see y'all next week I'm done. I don't even know what else to say. I'm done. This shit was just... I don't, I don't fucking know no more. For real.